Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and we are continuing on a little bit of a streak that we're on at the moment, which I'm quite happy about. Um, let's go as... Nothing done last for a while. We could try and do Beast as Lilith. That'd be a good idea. Le no, let's do let's do Apollyon and we'll try and do... We got Mega Satan and Delirium. Okay, a little bit of a tough one, a little bit of a tough one, but let's give it a go. I do quite like Apollyon with his beautiful little locusts. Um, in fact, technically we could just locust this straight away, but I'm not, that's a bit cheesy, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're jumping in for another run, and it is now the new year for um, for everyone that is watching. Not quite for me yet, but it is for everyone that's watching, so a happy new year to you all, and hopefully you uh, you have a better year than you did last year. Or, I don't know, maybe your last year was great and you want it to be just as good, but somehow I doubt that, just because everyone seemed to have a bad year last year. I mean, <laughs> good for you if you did, but yeah, I'm not going to bank on it. Anyways, I unfortunately got hit there by a champion, so let's not have that happen again and die on the first floor. That would be pretty sucky. Um, but for the question of the day today, as I mentioned in my previous few episodes, I am reinvigorate, reinvigorating the Isaac series a little bit with some changes. One of those changes is changing the modded character showcase to be more of a full-on showcase of the characters to try and complete their completion marks, or at least do multiple runs as said character. Um, Contagion isn't bad. Uh, and as part of that, I would like to ask people, I don't know what this is, I'd like to ask people, what would you like to be the first character to have a modded showcase? Um, of, it can be any of the characters that we've already played on the series, or it can be one that we've only played one or two runs of in the, in the modded character showcases, or it can be a character that I may not have touched yet, but if there's a specific character that gets a good few votes, um, either multiple people comment on it or one comment that is upvoted many times, then I will look into that character being the first one. The one on my mind at the minute is the uh, the Red Baby, which we did a video on, which isn't particularly a, a crazy character or anything, um, but it does have some unlocks and it seems kind of unique and vanilla-esque, but there's, there's obviously plenty of other ones out there that could be good for it. There you go, good old secret room here. More bombs, please. More bombs. Okay, we got three. We're up to three bombs. Judgment. Okay. We could gamble on these and try and get more bombs out of these, but it's not super duper likely. We need one more bomb at the moment. Let's do our boss first and see if we end up getting um. See if we end up getting a bomb from this guy. Probably not, but I'm liking the fact that we've got some spiders to help us out here. That's been quite nice. Spiders and flies. Good old spiders and flies. Right, you keep doing your thing, of course. Spawn your little shithead annoying boys in. I, I, I never know with these little guys if I should just kind of leave them be, or if I should focus them down. Because they are, they are quite annoying. I mean, they do get in the way. But they're not that bad. He's gonna, I was about to say, he's going to spawn more. That seems to be just what he does. Oh, that is a lot of bombs, my guy. Oh, dude, that was an absolute... Did you see that troll bomb that he just got on us? Hey, we got a bomb out of this. Lovely. Um, double bombs, in fact. And we even get the rock there as well. We can grab puzzle piece. Okay. Um, and with our lucky rock, we can actually go and bomb one of these open. I don't actually know which one would be best, to be honest. This one has a chance of an item, so I think I'll go for this. Got some pennies there. Unfortunately, only a pill. Range up in half bad. And then we'll come over here and probably would actually prefer to have gone for that, maybe. And we'll bomb the hell out of this. We'll plant a judgment here just to get some extra stuff as we continue along. Hey, we got some bombs out of that guy too, so we can get some of the chests here as well and some more money. I'm liking that quite a lot. What's in our shop again? Let me have a little look see. Do you know what? I'd be I'd be pretty open to the key, to be honest. I'd be pretty open to the key. We might even get enough here, we'll see. Bursting sack, um, white uh, spider locust with a low chance to permanently inflict confusion. I'll take that, thank you. Uh, and we'll try and get four more cent out of some of these chests that we've got going here. Let's do that. There you go, beautiful stuff. Right, we can go back and get mum's key now. Mum's key is an incredibly good uh, item just to have in general. It also gives us plus two keys, so it puts us in a good spot. 
health wise we're already in a great spot as well but yeah i just want to see what uh, what sort of modded characters you guys would like to see to be more sort of a main focus of that series i think that'd be quite fun to uh to get feedback on uh, we want to probably go here to get the most rocks possible right remember when it was a hundred percent chance to give a penny they were the glory days we'll bomb this open as well We'll crack this bad boy open and hope to get more money than we put into it. Just about, I think. Got some health as well. And if we, as long as we bomb this right, we can... In fact, I think we can just do this. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, this has been a pretty beautiful first floor, let's be honest. Pretty beautiful first floor indeed. Uh, let's have a look at what we got going on here. Lose all your keys and spawn a proportional number of pickups uh, with a chance that grows with the amount of keys. Reaches 100% at 9 and 21 keys. Uh, respectively removes golden keys as well. So we can keep that, and if we get 9 keys, we can then use it and potentially get some stuff out of that, which is maybe good. Uh, I'll take the pill as well, actually, here. Not terrible. Right, continue on we go. Continue on we go. But yeah, I really want to make sure to sort of get people's feedback and make this, make this series, or Isaac in general, more of a... Ooh, that was close. More of a collaborative series where I take on viewer feedback rather than just doing Isaac and you guys watching. I mean, I still enjoy doing that as we're doing it now, but I, al I always like to try and involve you guys when I can, if I can. Um, and I think the modded character showcase series is a good way to do that because you guys can put your votes in for who you want to see next. Hey, there's the permanently uh, stunned effect there. That's quite nice. Okay. Good, good. And there's our nine keys. Now, do I want to use it now, or is that a little bit risky? I probably want to try and go to my item room first, right? Contagion there. Contagion's pretty good on some rooms, especially, like, when it's they're all grouped up early on like that. So there's, there's our uh, extra key here. So let's use this key on the next door we see, um, which will be our item room here. Oh, my God. Okay. So in this room, we want to just try and... <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh my god, that was that was more than just beautiful. That was spiritual. That that was super super nice to see. Just every single one of those flies at once taken care of. Right, so we pop this open. Oh, we just have to take the wafer, don't we? Lovely. And then we pop our card here to use up all our keys. Um, offense taken. What the hell? I got two keys back and a troll bomb. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> that does not seem fair. I mean, at least I got keys back because I still have keys. But that's more than a waste. That's that's horrible. But I gotta say, how are these guys going to fight each other exactly? Okay. Not too bad on those guys. Still health about. Uh, I want to go back to my shop here real quick because we have quite a lot of pennies to uh, to use up here. And we don't have a time limit in person at the moment either. I will go in here now. We've got some red hearts about as well. No one got a rotten heart, unfortunately, which I was hoping we'd still have. A little bit more money, more fuel for the fire. Yeah, I really need to change over my mod back to the uh, instant fire destroyer one because... The one we're using right now is not working as I would have expected it to. And in here we have... Oh, baby. The most beautiful item you've ever done seen. Because now we can take the item and still abyss locust it. Which is really, really enjoyable. Also, hello my friends. Once again, oh, didn't quite reach all of them, but that was still good. Yeah, now we actually have this... Uh, beautiful way of being able to get have our cake and eat it too which i always like i will crack this open see what's what a puzzle piece that's pretty good we're only one off our uh our, our item ah oh, that's a very bad hit there it's the goddamn little mechanic where these guys bimble off of walls it really annoys me I should have expected it though. Oh, just rub salt in the wound, why don't you? Ugh, oh, evil little game. You could see my anguish and decided to rub it in. Is that a double tinted rock there? 
I would need another bomb if it is. Right, let's do our boss now. <laughs> and we'll work out what we want to do after that. We can also use Model and Clear to steal from uh, the Devil Deal and stuff. But I think I'm going to go Angel Deal just based on my current health anyways. Right, we've got decent enough damage here. It's not great with our fire rate, but I think with our two flies doing some good stuff here. Ooh, I don't know if it'll permanently confuse the boss, let's be honest, but it might. It might. It's seeming like it has so far. That's that's really good that it permanently confuses bosses. Ah, oh, not permanently, but it is a long confusion, though. Very long. Oh, God, that was a good hit, sir. Um, And I guess I'll take this. I'm going to see if I can get a bit more money first, though. If I can get some more money first, that'll be more worthwhile. More worthwhile, so. Bomb this. Yeah, these are supposed to be instantly destroyed. There we go. Get him to 10 cent was the milestone I was looking for there. Let's try and scrounge that extra bomb if we can. From up here. Okay, not exactly what I was expecting. I think we'll get a pill from you, right? If I remember correctly. really hard to hit you with my uh, flies. Okay, that was good. Didn't expect the bad gas, though, I'll be honest. Didn't expect the bad gas. I will take the pill. Tears down. <sighs> That's it's, it's pretty rough. <laughs> it's pretty rough. We also haven't got an extra item here, so we're going to have to use it on the um, capture machine, whatever the hell that thing's called. Wasn't anything in our shop I wanted to buy, was there? I don't think so. Okay, we'll at least got some of our tears back, but not all of it. Got a health up out of it. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, not terrible. Down we go. Not particularly happy at the moment because of that tears down, but that's what you get when you take pills. Ooh, this room. This room speaks to me on a primal level. I'm very intrigued by that room. Yeah, we're going to be relying on our locusty boys here, so let's do just that. I can't remember if, if walking into the spike chest ruins your angel chance, though. I don't fully remember. Don't really want to get near you. Luckily, I'm permanently confused, which helps. Yeah, I don't know if walking into those chests counts as damage to myself, or if it counts as, like, curse room damage or not. I'm, I'm, I really don't remember. I will bomb that, though. That was very good. Half soul heart there, lovely. Good amount of money. Our looks looking decent as well. Funny little room this one is. Okay, what you got in here? Slight damage down, but it does give us piercing, which is, of course, quite good. Oh, is that a Yera in here? I'm pretty sure that's Yera. I should use that on the money. My bad. Uh, yeah, I'll just take that as is. Lowers our damage a bit, but it does give us piercing. Damage is in a rough spot for right now. I should say apparently that didn't ruin my angel chance, but that's because... Oh, dude, fucking... Ugh. This is rough. Our damage is very low. And we're not any close to an angel deal, which I'm a bit annoyed about. Right, at this point, just go open up all the uh, spike chests. Who gives a darn? That was pretty lucrative. Pretty lucrative indeed. <laughs> Got a lot of HP out of that, wow. Okay, you guys need to lay off a little bit. Piercing does mean that enemies behind take even more damage, I believe. With a booster jab thing, whatever this is called. We are going to need quite a bit to, to bring this bring this run back to the forefront, I think. Hey, the ultra secret room could be what we need. Apple's pretty good. 
Um, so I think we we take Apple like this, and then we abyss it once as well. There's some that we want two of, but this one getting a, a pretty good locust that does extra damage, plus getting the item itself with okay luck. Not a bad trade. I like that. I know we've not seen what our uh, potential devil deal holds or whatever, but uh, boss room should I say? But we're not going to go devil deal, so that doesn't really matter. Still, good, 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 good. Yes, tonight is the uh, the night of New Year's Eve, so getting ready to parte. Um, I have some incredibly strong alcohol prepared for the evening, <laughs> and by incredibly strong, I mean incredibly strong. Uh, my girlfriend got me some overproof rum for uh, for Christmas. Overproof rum is um, sixty five percent. Bear in mind that most rum is. 25% <laughs> so red heart locust with an increased hitbox and two times damage Ooh, that'd be good to suck up um but i think that does increase the damage of all of our locusts so yeah it does it increases their size at least so i will just take that oh my god mum's key is such a good item man So goddamn good. Ten percent. Ooh, beautiful. Let's forget that guy can throw bombs. He nicely threw that one at himself, so didn't affect us too much. Did we gain some fire rate from somewhere? Oh, I think Apple gives you a bit of fire rate, doesn't it? Not a hell of a lot, but we're, we're over base now at least. Right, come along now, let's go. Uh, technically, we could do a sack room because we do have the wafer, but I think we it's a little late considering the HP we've currently got. I wouldn't want to waste all of our... Uh, all of our black hearts. Yeah, I think we're in a reasonably good position by the end of this floor. The start of this floor was looking a wee bit rough, but... We've clawed it back. The fact that we've got piercing now is rather nice as well. We just need a, an actual damage up now, and I think we'll be sitting pretty. And there's an actual damage up. And we got a de devil deal as well. Let's hopefully don't get too many bad pills here. Nope, I don't think we did. We got a luck down, which is not great. We ended up getting a health up there, which I'm pretty happy about. Overall, good stuff for me. Good stuff indeed. Health is very, very nice now. We have a two uh, a two heart buffer. We're at 4.69 damages now as well, which is really, really good. We did get Retrovision. I think GMO Corns are really, really good item. The fact that the damage up is really nice, and it, I believe it's a help up as well. Uh, it might not be, but it's at least a damage up, but it's a risky damage up, because you could get some pretty bad pills in there, because they are pills that get forced on you. And you can cause some ruckus. We'll crack that open. Money's looking really good right now. Just bombing everywhere secret room could be. Lovely. I'll bomb you as well just for increased chances. It's only a tiny bit of an increase on the angel floor, but it's enough to make me happy. It's enough to keep me going. I've also been recording Skyrim for the Skyrim series recently, and I've been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Um, game is really stable. Got literally thousands of mods enabled from the mod pack I'm using. It's really goddamn cool, man. It's really goddamn cool. I'm sure there's like at least a thousand mods of this 2000 mod mod pack that I'll probably never notice or touch, but it's just nice to have them there, I guess. Um, and yeah, we've, we've been making progress. Um, I've already recorded like, I think I'm on my second or third episode. I think I'm going to record the third one after this. Um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's just a lot of fun. Nice to get back into Skyrim and have have me be playing it for a reason. I feel like one of the big reasons I wanted to start a, a, a Skyrim series in the first place is a game that I love, but I always end up like getting distracted and stopping playing it. Oh, beautiful. Do you want to just uh, smash some of these rocks too, my good, my good lad? One more, please. That'll do, pig. That'll do. 
And what's in here? So we, we got this battery acid thing. Uh, drains one charge every 15 seconds. So that doesn't do anything for us right now, but I'm going to take it because it's good later on, or potentially good later on. I think that's a really cool risk-reward battery. I'll be honest, Milkshake as a mod has been non-stop wins so far. Like, I've not seen a single item from Milkshake that I felt was, like, really badly designed, or really stupidly overpowered, or really stupidly underpowered, or really boring. All the items have been interesting and fun and reasonably balanced. I I've, I've been liking it quite a lot. Oh my god, yes, okay. Um, I think we... I'm going to leave that there for now, because I want to see what my item room and angel deal are, but I think that's going to be the item that we uh, that we take and Play-Doh Cookie. In fact, mm, no, I'll leave it for now, just in case it's an item we want to duplicate. I was going to say, I could Play-Doh Cookie it now, but there could technically be something better. Bit of a bad hit there. The double troll bomb. Not exactly easy to get away from, especially when there's this many of them. Fucking hell, my guy. Chill your beans. Oh, this is just... This is egregious. Right. Yeah, I guess a milkshake as a mod has been... Mwah, chef's kiss so far. Really, really liking it. Really, really liking it. Of course, I've, I've, I've not even seen everything it has to offer yet. I'm pretty sure there's, there's probably about five, six, seven, eight items I've still yet to see. Probably more than that. I don't actually know how many items it adds total. But um, the ones that I have seen, I've seen a few times, and I've been enjoying them thoroughly. High praises to the team at Milkshake. High praises. And I'll be honest, I'm a, I'm a rough critic sometimes when it comes to modding. I can be pretty, I can be honest when things aren't, aren't what they should be. And this, they've, they've, done a, they've done a good job. I have no major complaints. Oh, really? You managed to get back in that bitch? Poot him out again. There you go. Easy enough. And there's that item room. Lovely. What you got for us here, sir? A white dice locust with 1.6 times and greatly increased speed. That's a chance to teleport enemies around. Ooh, that sounds kind of spicy. Sounds kind of spicy. Nah, I have to still go for Play-Doh, I think. I'm sorry. You're fun, and I wish I'd have seen you earlier. But I think Play-Doh is the way to go. Right. Let's go do our boss first, like I said, in case that angel deal is uh, more clayable or abyssable. And then we'll pick up Play-Doh Cookie after the fact. But what what a great item to get from our, um, from our puzzle pieces, though. Love that. A little bit of a tyrant here. I don't really remember what I'm in for here. With this boss. I want to get my demon baby in there if I can, to be honest. Because he's doing a good amount of damage right now. There you go. Okay, we don't much care about that item. We didn't get our angel deal, so... Take that. And then we do that. And then abyss it. Good stuff. Good stuff. We keep on moving. Keep on trucking. It does seem that the battery acid doesn't affect our pocket active as well, by the way. The, the, the like, removing a charge once every 15 seconds doesn't seem to affect our pocket active... Which is probably an error. I imagine it's meant to. And it's just something they didn't think about. So maybe that's something you need to fix. Or maybe it's intended to be that way. I'm not sure. I could see it being both ways, to be honest. I could see it being both ways. Right, unfortunately, we've got the uh, sad truth of uh, not having map in here. But we'll make it through. The game's doing a good job of giving us what we want. Dude... The Locust was homing then, oh my god. Yeah, we've not really gone full Locust this time around. I, I tend to go full Locust with this guy quite a lot, but this has worked out pretty well for us. I think we've just gotten items that work well as they are sort of thing. Right, we're just going to sit here, I think. Probably got two more to go. No, just, one, just the one more. See, now, now I don't really know where I'm going. 
Oh, Contagion. Beautiful stuff. So I'm just following along and hoping for the best. I'm really liking it when our locust decides to hurt Okay, so this was the wrong way. Fair enough, fair enough. And this will be back to the starting room. Yes, indeed it will. I've not been this way yet. Good. Give me a mini Isaac. Oh, no, we've got red hearts that aren't filled. My bad. Oh, dude. This this combo of having the locust and me have Play-Doh Cookie is very nice. Ow. We've got one more way to go here. I like it when it's a one-track system. It's not taking us four or five different ways. We curse the lost, which just makes no sense. Or curse the blind, whatever curse this is. I always remember. I always forget. Oh, we got a water bottle there for the uh, tier rate increase. I mean, that will plus one fire rate for the rest of the floor. What a great little pickup to exist. Oh, it's charmed. It's going to go for him. Uh, this is strange. Yeah. And then in here, we have a racer, which... Pink Locust in extremely decreased speed. Has a very high chance to insta-kill enemies. Oh, goddamn. Okay, so we'll pick that up. Put it down. And abyss it. Oh god, that is extremely slow. Oh lord. Um, and I think we just take that as is. Spectral's nice. Increased tier uh, hit size is good stuff. Liking that we found all our special rooms right off the bat as well. That makes things a little easier for searching around. So now we want to be going this way. I think. And then this way? Yes. Yeah, we're, we're unlikely to get many kills with our uh, with our locust here, but on occasion, on occasion, it will get some insta kills here and there. I guess if we um, bum rush enemies as well, we get really close to them, or if enemies run into it, sort of thing as well, that could work. Oh, freezing you is very beautiful. I like the freezies. So I never get it when people like don't acknowledge like play the cookie and fruit cake are some of the best items in the game. They really are. Burnheart there, lovely. I shall take said Burnheart, thank you. And we've seen all of our special rooms, so we're just good to go here. Grab that. That's a Yera, right? We forgot about the Yera on the other floor. God damn it. I think that's a Yera. So if he doesn't destroy it, we can Yera something. Maybe. He's probably going to destroy it, though, isn't he? No? Okay, so that's duplicatable because that's damage. In here, that's a bit annoying. Um, we can at least, however, abyss both of the keys. Key pieces, thank you. Wait. Fuck. <laughs> we were supposed to be doing Mega Satan. Shit. I guess we're doing Delirium now then. Bit, bit of extra damage up. And then technically what I could do is this. In order to just get an absolutely shit ton of keys. There you go. Not that I needed them. Yeah, I, I meant to be doing Mega Satan. So I guess we're looking for a sack room. Really, now. We do have Wafer, so sack rooms are pretty plausible for us, so I'll keep my eyes peeled. I did completely forget about that, let's be honest. My bad. Oh, my fire rate's gone down again now. Okay, there's a sack room right there. We we have a thingy heart, actually, as well. One. Two. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wait, is it not going to spawn the key pieces now that I've absorbed them up? We're just going to give ourselves them in this case, because <laughs> I'm a fool. Oh no, there you go, it does still give us it. Okay, nice. We get that. And then... All righty then, big fella. Cool, we still get them. Nice. That worked out pretty darn well for us, I'd say. Don't even care about that room. Well, we solved that problem pretty quickly, didn't we? We are worried about the keys. Do I have brownie for some reason? I do. I do. I need to get rid of brownie. There you go, it's gone. I hate brownie. As if it gave me that. I was, I was wondering why my damage was higher. And it wasn't the last floor, but I didn't notice I had that as a locust. And not locust. You know what I meant. It's gone now, though. No need to fret. No need to worry. Lovely stuff. The amount of stuff you get from chests with mum's key is absurd. Sadly, the sack room didn't end up paying out with anything we wanted it to pay out with, though. Like angel deal items or anything that was apparently not in the cards for us on this day which is a little bit of a shame would have liked to have seen at least one teleport or item but such is having the wafer and going to a thingy room it never seems to quite work out we don't really need the keys and bombs and stuff at this moment in time really oh wait i don't even know what happened there he seems to walk in and something just died straight away i'll accept it yeah, we've got enough locusts now for them to be pretty self-sufficient as well. Um, speed, yeah, we'll just take that. Why not? A coin locust with two times damage. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll uh, abyss that up as well. I'll buy a battery as well, just because. Why not? Yeah, I like that. The fact that we've got like reusable ways of of using active items, and then in here. Scapula, Soul Heart Locust with Yellow Glow and Increased Speed. I really don't care for that as a Locust, to be honest. Better off as an item, just in case. Right. We are ready to go, I think. Yeah, we've seen item room stuff. I don't care for my other rooms, to be honest. Let's just speed along. And we've got an Emperor card for the next floor as well. To get us speedily through the womb, which I very much enjoy. No red mum, but we might be able to get her to stomp down over here. And not that I need the money, actually. I don't even know. I'm trying to min-max stuff like that, but there's, there's really no need, is there? I don't need the money at all. I'm, I'm not even doing hush, so... Make sure I take the negative here. Actually, does it matter? No, we'll take the Polaroid. We'll take the Polaroid. We don't need the negative. Um, and we'll go down. Oh, we could have taken the Polaroid and the negative. I'm stupid. We could have used Sculpt and Clay. I didn't even use it on that last floor. My bad. Right, Emperor card straight away here. Easy boss as well. Lovely. Oh, Contagion easy boss. Ooh. Beautiful. Um, I think I want both. So let's uh, grab that. And then grab that. Very nice. Oh, there was a spike rock there that I just walked right into. My bad. That's a big chest. We'll open that up. Lovely. Um, what the hell? Oh, there's a trinket here that's Bethany Soul Tracker. Fiend Folio Report if found. Interesting. I guess I'll have to report that because I found it. Um, I think we'll take that and then... Double quad shot, baby. With actually not bad fire rate. I like this. This is a good setup. Our tier size is pretty good too with this.
we have found a pretty good setup, I would say. Especially with Spectral on top of that, like... Papilla Duplex is adding a lot to this. With the Spectral and, uh... Tier size increase. Able to hit things pretty goddamn easily. Right, just keep it moving. Hematemesis, not a great idea right about now. Oh, ha ha. The rooms that are just like, there is, is, it's as if they were built for Contagion. The most satisfying ones. Also, we are freezing like every enemy right now, and that's very satisfying to me. Okay, hey, we found the boss pretty much straight away here as well. Lovely. Okay, I don't think we're going to kill you before your first phase kicks in, but it should be a reasonably quick kill nonetheless. Nah, not quite. We almost got it, but not quite. This phase isn't that hard now that I know that you can stand at this side and the little pustule things won't burst until they're further away from you. Makes them a lot easier to dodge. And we go up. We go straight to Mega Satan and hoping for Delirium. Mega Satan's the priority. Even though Delirium's the better unlock, Mega Satan's the priority. Because Meg Mega Satan we can get both. Whereas Delirium we can't get both. Oh, what a There was an enemy spider in the pot. Hello. <laughs> I'll have two more, please. I don't even know if this is going to do anything. Yes, it does. <laughs> we got four quad shots in a row. No fucking way. No fucking way. What would that be? Octuple. What's... What's a 16-sided something called? Let's let's have a look. Um, 16 sided shape. Oh, it's called a hexadecagon. So we've got hexadeca shot rather than quad shot. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> it's, not only did we get four quad shots, we got four quad shots in a row. Oh, dude, another one of these things? Come on. Please give me one more. Please give me one more quad shot. Ah, I mean, it's, it's, it's close. Wait, is there another one of these things? Dude, this is crazy. This floor's wild. We need one more bomb there. We're waiting on one more bomb. <laughs> oh my god, the spidery, spideriness of this run has gotten quite absurd. It's always a little annoying when something co this cool happens this late into the run, though, because it's like, this is definitely one I want to put in the thumbnail, but it feels like I've debated people that, that don't watch until this late in. Come on, game. I'm looking for a bomb. I lost my burn heart, finally. That's just keys, game. There's the bomb, lovely. Right, one more beautiful quad shot, please. You know you can give it to me. You know how funny it would be. No, okay, I thought the game crashed then. I got a really long hitch there. We're okay. I'm still standing. Ah. <laughs> That's fine, though. We got quad, 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 quad shots. That's fine. Hexadeca shot. I love the fact that every subsequent quad shot... It hasn't added four each time, obviously, but 
I love the fact that it didn't decrease our fire rate every time. We did get hit there, but we got the we got the wafer. I, I keep forgetting that. The wafer's just making this piece of piss. Holy shit, that was a tough one. I actually had to move around for that one. Got hit again there. Right, it's time for a look inside our chests. Unfortunately, not a lot of good here. Locust, pink locust, light blue locust. I think we just abyss all of these. I think we're going to get more damage that way than any other way. Great, like the way you just hit me instantly there. Goofball. Technology. Now, I don't know if this is going to be good for us, but I'm going to take it anyways. Yeah, it seems good. It seems good. It seems about right to me. There's some herming going on in there on occasion as well. Maybe I could have taken an extra technology to get more shots out. There's a soul heart there, love that. I've only got one bomb, so I don't want to blow up those fires right now. Oh my god. There's some extra bombs though, it's telling us something. Good old Reap Creep. We'll hit you with many a shot. Big lad. Oh, come on. Give us some chests so we can duplicate an item. Our uh, our sculpting clay yearns. Yearns for another item. Try to lose too much HP in the meantime. I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. No half soul hearts on the others, sadly. Ah, come on, game. I mean, we've only got one looks, so I get it, but you could be a little more lenient, please. At least we're doing good damage still and all that. Some creep there that I didn't see, lovely. Less that I didn't see it, more that I just wasn't paying enough attention to think about the fact that that would hurt me. Okay. So love the way it hits pretty much every enemy in the room. Room over. Weird room. Oh, still no chest though. There you go. 10% chance to fire a Herming Tear that inflicts bleed. Let's just go for it. Double it. Give me two of them. It cost me dearly there. I don't know how the Herming Tear is going to affect technology. But... You see, I do seem to be bleeding enemies, so it seems to be working somewhat. Yeah, I'm seeing some herming ones in there. Okay, this isn't a good room here. I don't like this. Maybe Bleed can chomp on those guys through their, uh, their armor, their invincibility. I'm not entirely sure about that, but just maybe. Okay. Not too shabby. Oh my god, we got big, big fat boy. All good. Okay. Unfortunately, not too many items this time around for us. Yum Heart's probably a good pickup right now, though. Ooh, a good old D100. Little bit too spicy, I think, at this stage. 
little bit too spicy. Okay. We are pretty much tapped out. Probably one or two more rooms left and we'll go and fight our Mega Satan -y boy. Yeah, one more room left. That is it, thank you. That is all, folks. Right. Boss time, here we go. We do have Yum Heart ready and waiting in case we need to heal. I've only got one use of it, mind you, but that's still two hits. The Sculpting Clay might have been good on the next floor if we do go to Delirium, but still. I think Yum Heart could have been better anyways. Kind of hard to see what's what, to be honest. Oh god, there you go. Yum Heart's already come into use. Sometimes my fire rate, like, I, I just stop firing sometimes. I'm not quite sure why that is. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Yeah, we're definitely bleeding enemies a lot, so the Rusty Spoon's doing something. I don't know if duplicating it did anything, mind you, but it's doing some damage at least. Also, I keep getting knocked back sometimes. Whenever it fires that shotgun blast, it's kind of a little bit distracting. Nice and easy. Ah. Oh. Taking some fat damage from these guys that I shouldn't be taking. It's really hard to see where I am and what's going on, to be honest. And I get knocked back and stuff. We're not doing quite as much damage as I thought we'd be doing. It's just, just my fire rate's really... I mean, I know my fire rate's low, but it's really inconsistent. Okay, on to the angels. Got half soul heart back. There you go. Oh, got laser beamed there. It's... I, I just, I have no idea where I am at all times. I'm just this, I'm this invisible speck with a tiny bit of blood pooping out of it. That's it. And the knockback as well. Oof. I should avoid that. Yeah, not, not doing anywhere near the damage I'd like to be doing right now. We've got to second phase easily though. Easily enough. Well, second phase I'm a little worried about, I'll be honest. We've, we've got enough HP to get through it, I think. But I don't know about Delirium, I'll be honest. I just... Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to avoid all of this when I can't really see myself. I got hit like three times to that. This... I, I might die here. I, I might die here. I just can't see anything. Yeah, I got hit again there. This shotgun blast thing is screwing me over so hard. Stop knocking me back. Why is it going to knock me back? Okay, we've got six hits left and we've got him like halfway dead. I need to focus really hard on my own character model to not get hit here. Got hit again. Even when I'm focusing, it's not easy. I got hit again, how? I was looking right at myself. This is so impossible. Also, if I get knocked back here, I'm going to take damage. There you go, I took damage. I can't fire. I just can't shoot in this bit. I can't see myself. Just run straight through it all. I can't I can't see myself. It's impossible. I I'm just guessing on whether I'm dodging things. There you go, we got him. Honestly, I don't know if we can do delirium. It's so difficult to see. It's so difficult to see. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to risk it. My damage isn't good enough. We'll end it off there. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.